I'm going to be showing you some basic assisted PNF stretching techniques for the rotators of the hip. When we are stretching the rotators of the hip, we will be focusing on some muscles like the gluteus maximus, piriformis, and the tensor fasciae There are a few ways that we can perform this. One is going to be with the client in supine. So what you will do is you will flex the hip to 90 degrees. When their hip is at 90, their knee will also be at 90 degrees. If we, want to if we want to stretch the medial rotators, what we're going to do is take them into lateral rotation. So by taking them into lateral rotation at the femur, we are stretching the medial rotators. So what we're going to do for this one is stabilize at the knee. The other hand is going to be on the foot or on the ankle. Then you are going to take them as far as they can go. Once they can't go any farther, you will give them a couple taps to indicate to push the ankle into the hand. They will hold that for four to seven seconds, and then you will give another tap to indicate to relax, and you will take them deeper into the stretch. And that was contract relax. Another way that we can do this is with an antagonist contraction. So same thing, you'll give a couple taps to let them know to push it to your hand. And then this time when they relax, I want you to bring your foot towards your head. And you can get a little bit farther that way. Now, with this stretch, there are a few different ways that we can do it. We can play around with the angle. So we can have the hip flexed at 90 degrees. We can also see where they are restricted. So you can take them into different ranges of hip flexion. See if there are areas where they are more restricted than others. And you can just play around and see where exactly they need it the most and then focus on that area. But if, if you want to focus on the lateral rotators, what we're going to do is take them into medial rotation. So for this one over here, again, you're going to stabilize at the knee, the moving arm is going to be at the Achilles, and you are going to take them into medial rotation. Once they can't go any farther, you'll give a couple taps that will let them know to bring your ankle towards the center. And then another tap to relax, and you can take them a little bit more into medial rotation. From here, we'll add an antagonist contraction. So I want you to bring your knee towards, bring your ankle towards the midline. And now I want you to bring your ankle towards me. So they will assist you in the stretch and get a little bit deeper into medial rotation. So this is how we can perform medial and lateral rotation in supine. If we want to perform this same stretch in prone, you will have the client turn over onto their stomach, and I will show you right now how to perform it in prone. To stretch the rotators in prone, once they are lying down on their stomach, what you're going to do is again flex their knee to 90 degrees. Your hand is going to be moving, you're going to wrap it over the medial malleolus of the ankle. Your opposite hand is going to be stabilizing by applying a downward pressure on the saber. So right now, what we are going to do is stretch the lateral rotators by taking them into medial rotation. So I'm going to bring the foot down towards the floor. Once it can't go any farther, I will give a couple taps and I want you to push your ankle into my hand. After four to seven seconds, give another tap to let them know to relax and take them deeper into the stretch. That was the contract relax version. Now I'm going to show you with an added antagonist contraction. So you're going to give them a couple taps to let them know to push into your hand. And I want you to bring your ankle down towards the floor and get deeper into the stretch. So that was the stretch for the lateral rotators. For the medial rotators, what we are going to do is place the hand at the ilium, and we are going to take the leg across. Once you feel some resistance, you'll give a couple taps, push your ankle against my hand, and relax. And then take them more into lateral rotation. And then if we want to add an antagonist contraction, again, we'll give a couple taps, they will push into you, and bring your foot down towards the floor. Now again, with this one, if you want to play around with the angles a little bit, you don't have to keep the, the leg straight. You can take the leg into a little bit of abduction. 
and do the same thing. So take them into abduction, perform the same series. Once you've performed it three times, then you can take the leg into abduction again, perform the same exercises, and you can do the same thing with adduction. See where they're most restricted and play around with the different angles. And that's it for today.